Greetings and salutations. It is Nikki. I am here once again to present to you adulting tasks by the not quite adultier adult in the room. At this point, I am the adultiest adult in the room because I'm the only person in the room, but be that as it may, I am going to do a little bit of envelope stuffing and I'm going to do a savings challenge and then I'm going to show off my new and improved budget hopefully here we go so here i am here we are i think first i let me get out i don't have a ton of cash this time this was money that i had earned so i'm an author so i have a couple of books that every once in a while they i get a sale and so i get you know two or three bucks a month sometimes two or three bucks every quarter and that just sits in my PayPal. And then I also was part of a Zoom settlement and I got $32. So I decided to take that out of my PayPal and cash up it. So I have 10, 20. Let's do this with the hand, I can do that. 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. So I have $42 and I would like to do at least one envelope. So we're gonna do 28. And let's see here. 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, I can't do 28. I can do 30 though. Let's do 30. We'll do, we'll do that. So we've got 20, 30, 10, 20, 25, 30. And I will get this in this envelope. Now I've mentioned before, these are origami envelopes that I started to fold. I only have 40 of them so far. So this might be a 40 envelope challenge and not a 100 envelope challenge. It depends if I go back to folding but I thought this was a good way to use all the origami paper I have. And so, oh, and I was drawing on the other ones, little hearts when I filled it. And then let's see here, 26, 28. Okay, that, let's see if I can pick a really small one, $2. Okay, let's do $2 too. And that actually will work out perfect because the gratitude savings challenge that I want to do has a suggested worth of five dollars. So two, two. I'm going to do the heart first, and then get this bad boy open. I kind of hoped to at some point fold more of these on screen. I need to get back in the swing of it before I can do that. And let's see here, we'll put it right before three. Okay, so that's all of the envelope stuffing for right now. What I have here is this is a challenge that I made on impulse that I think one of my very first videos, it's a, a little messed up on the back. I have extra, extra icons there, but basically, Gratitude savings challenge. Each time you stuff an envelope or add cash to your piggy bank, write a note with what you are most grateful for at that moment and include it. So I am going to color in two icons. I'm going to get two slips of paper and I am going to write two gratitudes. So I think first I am grateful. Um, sir, you have plenty of ink in you. Why are you not writing? Okay, well, first I'm grateful that I have a supply of pens nearby. Okay, let's try this one. Ah, I am grateful. 
all of the amazing pens. I've received in subscription boxes. I had been a member of Scribe Delivery at one point, and they have since hit some rocky, some rocky moments, but they, they had some amazing packages. The very first subscription box I got from them was a fountain pen, this wonderful like indigo ink, which I believe I have just sitting off to the side, and oh, a Rhodia pad that had like the best, the best writing. And it goes to my piggy bank. Unable to get it out, it is one of those banks that you have to break open at the end. And so the money that's in there, I can't get back out, which means if I forget to hit record, I cannot get it back out to re-record. So let's color in one of these. And I just like the hearts, so we're just gonna go for a heart. And I'm sorry for any shaking of the table. Okay, you couldn't even see that. That smooth, Nikki, real smooth. Okay, my second gratitude, I am grateful. To have found a hobby. that has the potential for such a great for such a great community thank you for watching All right, so here we go, another $5, and it, I can do this, and slip it in, there we go, cap back on the pen, make sure I'm coloring in something that can be seen, bam. So if you watched my first cash stuffing video, you'll know that each of these first four that I colored in was actually $100 because I had Christmas money that I hadn't, I had kept out for an emergency and then I finally decided it was okay to stuff it. So I have $410 saved, which is already above my goal. I am not currently using the back of this to write adding gratitudes to the following boxes, but very good. Very, very good. Okay, next. Let me slide this off to the side. I was watching someone's channel. This is very, very poor form of me to not remember who I was watching, but I was watching someone who was, who had, um, spent time and got their budget written all up in a Word document. And I decided I was gonna take the time and to do the same in Google Chrome. And what I have done is I have taken all of my income and rounded it down and all of my bills and rounded them up. So they're fairly accurate to what they were. And I put them not only in the categories they, they apply to so I've got income by weekly and I've got fixed expenses monthly variable expenses with whether they're week month or quarter sinking funds which are the long-term bills and the debt I have the potential for savings is here and things I should add in my budget here clothing haircuts eating out and household one of the things I think I was supposed to do 
is over here on debt, have my mortgage and my student loans and the car loans and, and hospital bills and this Discover payment, which is way down there. But they feel like it, I'm, I'm, I'm listing them as expenses for right now. You'll also see I have my little cheat list because I was getting so confused with fixed expenses versus variable expenses versus sinking funds. Now with the definitions right here, it is all in place. I am not gonna forget. Page one. Page two, now I went to the Budget Moms freebies and this was sort of a freebie that she had and I, I redid it for myself so that I could have everything typed in here. And what I have is what the fixed expense is and how much is budgeted for it and then how much I actually paid toward. And I am going to try for the rest of the month to fill this in every time I do banking, which I do every um, Sunday as it is, but I would like to start recording updates weekly to sort of give everyone an update and then share where I am on this. Currently, it's just set up for the entire month, although it doesn't say that anywhere, but I have it here. I've got extra lines for things that I think of later, and then I have a bunch of lines for savings. That's page two. I intended to make this just a two-page document, and it turned out to need to be one more page. This was another handout that the budget mom had where the instructions in the, the budget crush workbook that she had was having a spending calendar and writing down where you spend money so you can see where your money's really going. And I kind of love that idea to have it all on one sheet and be able to write in every week or even more often than that what I'm spending, where I'm spending it, so that I really get a better picture of where my money's really going. I actually, this week, I in my previous video, I had, the, in the video uh, titled, Where Has All the Money Gone? I wondered what happened to the money. I should have $900 a month that's available to save or whatever I need to do. I figured out where it went. I paid $200 for my youngest to be part of a summer program that we actually didn't get registered in time for and they had already filled. That money is coming back to me. I am paying off my taxes because we didn't, we had a surprise. We didn't adjust our taxes when we lost my son as a dependent. And so taxes were much more than we expected and so I'm still paying that off and that for, that was a $400 payment and then if anyone watched it when I made the the stuffing video where I set aside the money that my child had saved for an iPad and I hadn't deposited it because I was going to see if I could use it for savings I have that floating out in cash not in the bank account so between the $200 that I'm going to get back, the $400 for um, the $400 for taxes, and another $300 for the iPad and the case and the glass, there's my $900. That's where the money went. And I feel like if I'm writing it down here on this calendar that I'm really going to have a better idea and not have to wonder and feel so incredibly helpless. So while this is just a rough draft, I don't like the way it came out. I would like to redo it in one of my programs, whether that's Canva gives me a little more control, but the tables are difficult to work with, or InDesign, which I have compliments of my workplace. I, but for right now, I've got three pages that work. So this is what I'm gonna start working with. And this is what I would like to I w what I'd like to get into is to get a schedule because I need to stay accountable and making videos is helping me it's helping me stay accountable to myself while because I've made the channel and I have people following and watching there is 
um, someone I watch, The Good Kind of Midlife Crisis. I'll link her in my description. Boy, I can't talk. I'll link her in my description. She's doing similar things. We have an insane amount in common, but essentially she's also in her 40s. She's also trying to get, as she says, her poop in a group, which I love and is working its way into my vocabulary faster than I expected. And um, she does, you know, budget updates and then she does uh, weigh-ins, like health updates every week. And it's like, okay, I need that kind of schedule. I need like, okay, I've, I've walked this many miles this week update and I have done, this is what the budget's looking like every week. That'll give me a little more structure. I would like to get back to the daily doodles too. I had so much fun with those and I, I love doodling, drawing, not my strong suit, doodling right up my alley. So that's where I am. That's what I have. I feel really good about this. I feel insanely good about this stuff. And, and basically I went to the budget mom's, I think it was the budget crush workbook that she has in her freebie section. And I just adapted it like hers, her page like this only had fixed variable syncing. No, it only had fixed variable debt and save. And I really wanted to have my sinking funds listed on here, even though I may not touch this section every month or at all. I'm, I like having it. I like seeing all of the bills all at the same time and holy cow, they all fit on one page. So, and then this will also give me a chance to decide, okay, uh, you know, clothing and haircuts and eating out, I can work them in somewhere, um, based on what we're actually spending and knowing exactly how much I need to save or I have available for these kind of spending things. I need to get a savings goal. That's the other thing. I had set a, I have a coffee account that I just set up for kicks and giggles because I had done this cha challenge and I wanted to have a place where I could put it for download. And then if anybody wanted to make a donation, they could, but there is the obligation, it's priced at zero. But, um, it, it kept pestering me for a goal. And I'm like, I don't know what my goal is. Uh, let's say a $10,000 um, emergency fund. That's okay. So on one hand, reach, shoot for the moon and you hit the stars, which is actually not technically correct. You shoot for the stars and you hit the moon, but whatever. We're going to um, <laughs> pretend that it makes more sense than that. On one hand, yes, set big outrageous goals and work towards them and see how much progress you can make. On the other hand, where I'm saving money, I don't even have a savings account. I'm saving it in a checking account that I use. Like what, what, what? Okay, so I need to figure out a different savings challenge or a, a, a goal, I guess. And I, you know, maybe the goal is just, I don't, I don't know what the goal should be. Part of me wants it to be selfish, like a, a new camera. And another part of me wants it to be family oriented, like enough money to fix the bathroom, um, to, to redo the entire bathroom, right? Whether that's, you know, 5,000 or 7,000 or 20,000. Um, but I need to figure it out. I need to figure out what my goal really is so that I have something that's driving me. So I have a, a finish line to get to. And I suppose that is my homework. You know what? I tell everyone at work, if I don't write it down, it doesn't exist. Here is my homework for my next video. Set a goal. Next video. Okay. It's written down. It exists. Hold me to it. I don't have a schedule yet. That's not going to be my goal. I set a money goal. A savings goal. So this savings goal, money goal, a financial goal. Okay. Edited slightly to be just set a some kind of goal. 
that has to do with money for the next video update. Uh, fingers crossed, I am going to tuck it in here. I'm actually going to update my list. I have done two and I have done 28. That's what we did, right? Colored pencil, 28. Yep, two and 28. We'll stick that in here. We'll stick my goal in here and that will remind me to get it done and it is written down and now it will happen. For now, that's all I have. I hope you are having a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow's better and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <sighs>